Hi everybody, it's Michelle. How are you? I just want to let uh, show you these beautiful sprays that I just made. Um, I made two of them and I'll tell you where the idea started from. I purchased <clears throat> these little picks from Hobby Lobby and I, did, I thought they were really cute and I thought, oh, they're so simple I have to be able to duplicate them. So that's the reason why I bought it, and I did duplicate it. Um, here's the little picks that I I made, and that's my version. I just put a different color bling in the center, um, and then I attached it to wire with um, floral tape, white floral tape. And the wire that I strung the beads on, well, I'll get, I'll get to that in a minute. First, let me show you what I made. So I used, um, I, I made the little pearl things and then I um, added some I am roses cherry blossom leaves and some different pearls on wire from my stash and then I did it all in floral tape and I added onto the flowers for some sparkle I used the coarse glitter glass and that's available at the creative soup for the soul um, store, Trisha's store, and she sells it in these little containers, and this one I used was the fine glitter glass. And then I also used her 10 inch pearls right there, or 10 millimeter, I'm sorry, 10 millimeter pearls um, for this one. So the small beads I had, I bought at uh, Michael's, and I don't know what size they are, but they are they're the teeny ones. Um, the bigger ones just didn't look right. The ones that I had in my stash. Sorry if I keep going out of frame. I'm kind of there. And then I made these and I just looped it on the wire. But there's a red one. There's the red one. And here is this pink one that I made. <clears throat> and again, these are... Um, some of these are recollection flower actually all of these are recollection flowers except these itty bitty ones down here I think those are I am roses and then those are I am roses and then I had some chipboard um, butterflies that I have a, a whole thing of but I don't know who makes them and then I just added all the little picks that I made and bound it with floral tape and wire and kind of arranged it how I wanted to and wrapped it up. In the center of my butterflies, I did use the mesh bling that I got from the CSS store over at Creative Soup for the Soul. And I just cut three little strands of the mesh bling and glued it on there. And when I say three little strands, I keep all my scraps of it in a baggie. So... Um, when I need to just add some bling. I mean, it's so simple to cut. It's very flexible and it makes great bling. Very easy to glue down and I just um, snip it with some regular scissors. It's not hard at all. So just thought I'd share um, these two sprays with you and I really liked doing it. I will tell you it's not hard to do but it's time consuming just wrapping all the things and I mean if you used just florals and picks that you've already bought it wouldn't be as time-consuming but do know that I did string all the pearls and everything myself so if you want to go that route and customize your colors and everything it's time-consuming I, I think I'll be faster at it now that I've made two of them and I know what I'm doing more but at the end of this video stay tuned and I'll show you how to just make one of the picks and then you can kind of go from there and I'll I'll do once I get a little faster and now that I know how to put these together if you're interested in doing a tutorial on putting the whole thing together leave me a comment below and I'll go ahead and make one um, make one for you but for now I'll just show you how I made the little the little pick okay bye all right the supplies that I'm using to make this little flower pick um, I'm using this this wire and it is, I just got it from Michael's, it's 28 gauge beading wire, 24 yards, or 21.9 meters, I believe. And it's just from Bead Landing. This is very thin and flexible, and I needed it for the small pearls. And then I just bought these little small pearls from Michael's. They do have a hole in it. They are tiny. Um, 
and the smaller size looks better. And then I have some floral stem wire, and I attached it with um, attach it with that to the floral tape. I just use I actually cut the little piece. And of course, you want to use some wire cutters and the benders. And I'm not really a jewelry maker, but I dabble around in baubles and stuff. So just however long you want it, cut cut the piece. But I will tell you, um, I bought the one with the the white, and it really it's good for attaching it to this. But if you're trying to bead on top of this, the paper comes off of it. So I'd just go ahead and get the clear. You can always or the metal ones and you can paint it but anyways let's start I just take um, this is like a slinky <laughs> I just take a little piece of this and of course it's all knotted up okay this is why it's gonna be hard to do a tutorial with this but anyways I'll just I'm gonna quickly show you and I'll probably speed it up I'm not gonna I'm cutting this off I'll use the other piece just take a good hefty piece of this wire I do it longer. This is probably maybe five inches just because I like room to work. Uh, bend the bottom like this so your beads, when you string your beads, just pinch it, nothing fancy, so your beads go on. And then I do, how many do I do? I do five around, five beads go around the circle and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I do 13 beads all together and it works out good because you want five to form your circle. So we're going to just string five little beads on here and of course it's and just string them on like, or not five, 13. So I'll speed through this, do 13 beads. Okay, I got 13 beads on here. If you hear that in the background, it's my dog going crazy playing. Um, so what you want to do is you want to push, I don't know if you can see this good, you want to push up your five beads, so one, two, three, four, five. You want to push those up, and then you're going to bring this end down, because those are going to form the loop. And you want to take this end and go back through your remaining beads. So one, two, three, four, five, and they're going to fall. Okay, so I got the five. So get those up there so they don't fall back down. And then take this end and you want to go down so you're making a loop. And stick it back through your beads. So you're, And then I usually do the first one and then pull it up. See that? So it forms. It formed the circle. And of course I lost a bead, I think. And then just, you know, round it. So now this little wire is still down here and you still want to feed it back through. You want to fish them all back up there. This is what I mean about it takes a while. But if you just sit and knock out a bunch of them in a day and you got the picks you can add them you don't have to put them into spray you can just add them to your flowers or layouts or cards or whatever all right it's almost done all right so they're all up there and they will fall down so what I do is I just kind of wrap Wrap this around. You want to push them all the way up there as tight as you can so they're not loose. So they all stay pretty snug together. Okay. Oh, they're playing video games downstairs so it's loud if you can hear screaming. Alright, so I did that. Now the next thing I do is I take this piece of the thicker wire. And this is, like I said, it's just 22 gauge floral stem wire, 18 inches long. It doesn't matter how long it is, you're going to cut it. But I just... I get it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. You can get it at any craft store, probably even Walmart. All right, so now I what I want to do is I want to put it on here and wrap this wire, the thin wire, around it so it attaches. So let me get it started and just keep going. Now it's on there so it's not going to move. And then 
Just keep wrapping, but go, oops, I'm going the wrong way. You want to go up and do it tight. And just keep going until it's, it, it runs out and um, and it'll be tight onto this wire. So that it's not going to go anywhere. There, see? And it's bendable. Now the next thing you want to do is you're going to wrap it with some floral tape to cover up that. And I did notice that this floral tape gets very dirty from your hands when you're wrapping and making the spray. So what I did at the end was I did paint them with some white paint to cover it up. And you just want to pinch your floral tape and cover up the metal and kind of roll it, get it started, squeeze it. If you've worked with floral tape, you'll know what I mean. It's kind of sticky, self-sticking. And basically, you want to pull it tight and just twist. There. You don't need to go all the way down because, and you don't want to bulk it up. You just want a nice thin layer to cover that up. And um, Because if you're if you're going to do it on um, a spray, you're going to be adding floral tape down to the bottom and stuff. So I did that. Then the next thing is just get a bling. Your choice of color. I'm going to use one that's going to show up good on camera. Um, and, you know, use a tiny one. Here's a nice dark green one. So you can see. You can use hot glue or your glossy accents, which... I'm going to use my glossy accents and that's what I've been using because hot glue, it's so tiny that the hot glue tends to make it, you know, you can make it messy. You can see it on the edge and of course my glossy accents is clogged. Okay, so you just want to put a dab of glossy accents in the... Um, Get it on the edge of the beads, but just fill the middle with it, and it will dry clear. And then take your, this one's kind of too big, let me get a different uh, bling. Let's see here. You want to see the pearls around the outside, and I can't tell you what size this bling is, because I just have a drawer full of it. So then you use your finger and set it on there. You might need tweezers to release it, because your fingers do get sticky from that floral tape. And just set it on there until it dries. But there you go. Nice little pick. And you can also um, add like a feather on the back of it. Let me show you. Just grab a feather that I have. And how you would do that, you know, or a flower. You could, let's see, cut this. Use your floral tape. And then just, um, of course, the it's not dry. Then you would do what you would do is just get another piece of your floral tape, and tape it along and wrap the tape around that to hold it secure. You could have a feather, um, <clears throat> hot glue flowers on there, anything you want. Glue several of them together, or not glue, tape. I guess you could glue them if you want to. I got glue everywhere. You know, hold them together, different sizes. And you can see how I would build the the um, the spray. I would, like, position it how I want. And then I would start, you know, like, wrapping the tape right here and stopping. And then add another piece here and wrap the tape. And then eventually you would have your spray and adding flowers or whatever. Can you kind of see? So there you go. Um, if you'd like to see it tutorial I could do a speed through on uh, the whole thing comment below if if you would otherwise that's how you make the little little picks talk to you later bye bye